only here for one day. It took like 45 minutes and it cost seven pounds. So we're going to the Grand Buddha at Lingshan and we're gonna go for lunch now and just explore the city a bit. just walking to get some bikes because the little area where there's quite a few western restaurants is only 15 minute cycle from the train station. We love cycling. And we love cycling. We're obsessed with cycling. It's the easiest way to get around. And our subscription for half a year cost nine pounds. Nine pounds. So it's super cheap and convenient. There's bikes everywhere. All over China. Amazing. I'm cycling, it's literally 30 degrees. I'm also getting a sunburn because I didn't put any sun cream on my shoulders. It's really safe to cycle here. There's bike lanes everywhere. I know we're on a big road now, but there's bike lanes everywhere. Like, don't worry about cycling at all. <laughs> Lee's having a breakdown or a hypo. I was gonna say a handy tip is to bring your portable bag. But another handy tip is to charge it before you leave. We're now in a Mexican restaurant and we're gonna get food before we go to the Buddha. It's also very warm. Chinese people also like to um, put fruit with savory options. Fruit pizzas, fruit pizzas, everything. But here's a fruit quesadilla. But look how cheap the food is here. Like a quesadilla is 25 or 30, which is like three pounds. Taco is just like not even two pounds per person. Yeah, we look at all of our rice. <laughs> That's the smallest portion of rice I've ever seen. This is ridiculous. So I ordered a veggie enchilada, which wasn't actually on the menu. I just said no meat, I just want veggies. And it seems they had just had sweet corn and nothing else. We're now heading down the stairs to catch the metro around like half an hour to the end of the line because this Buddha is far out from Wuxi. We just got off the metro. It's very warm. Now we're going to get a DD, which is a taxi Buddha. And it's really easy. It's like an app on your phone. See? Very easy. It's one minute away. It has dropped us off, but per usual, you have no idea how we're going to buy a ticket. We also feel very dodgy and ill. Maybe the Mexican food. <laughs> So that's fun. We're not even sure what these are for, but here we are. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> What's going on? I, I waved it to magical god man king. The tickets were actually kind of expensive. They were like 210 yuan each, which is like 20 quid. And we also got a ticket for a castle. As with everything in China, we have no idea what's going on, but we'll try and find a castle as well. This could be said castle, not sure. Everywhere we go, we're just surrounded by children every single day it's destiny you can't get away from them there seems to be like 10 schools here on a trip everyone's looking at us everyone's looking at us oh my god everyone's oh my god, looking at us. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, the children <laughs> i'm sucking in trying to look skinny oh what was it come on there's lots of red trees and lots of children and there's a buddha in china you can never avoid stairs there's always many stairs stairs stairs, stairs everywhere I'm making a chant because that's I how my teacher brain works. The stairs. stairs, stairs, everywhere. I hate walking up the stairs. Tunes, bro. I've just looked to my left and something's happening over here. They look like beekeepers. The beekeeper just waved at me, so let's try and get. Oh, bitch, look. Oh my god, they're flirting with me. Oh my god, bitch. I think I've got a new husband and my husband is a beekeeper. I haven't actually moved very far. We've just stopped to take a break and Lou's eating her snack. But this is a 5A site. So in China, each like tourist attraction is categorized into how many A's they have. Five is the best, one is the worst. We're at a 5A site right this now. It's a 5A site. But this is like top, 
top winner here. Explains why we paid so much for the tickets. Do I? So one thing about China is you get a lot of men stare at you, like these ones right here. The thing is, like, although you get a lot of stares, it is, it, it is safe. It, like, Look at my hammer is glowing right now, by the way. Brilliant. We just made awkward eye contact with them. This is an actual replica of the size of the hand up there. That's 11 meters high. That is a big statue. Everyone's touching all of these little Buddhas and statues. But good luck, good fortune. I don't know why we put ourselves through this. The amount of steps everywhere we go. It's just ridiculous. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> so we've walked up this many stairs. This is our view. Looking cute. And Lou's having a break. He's having a break already. <laughs> He's having a break now. How you doing? Oh dear. We've just walked all the way from down there. I'm sweaty. We're going to touch the Buddha's toes. I'm excited. For good luck and good fortune. <laughs> This feels like Jungle Run. I want to buy it. I'm gonna buy it. I just need it. I just need it in my life. I need a foot. I can't believe you just bought a Buddhist foot. I'm so excited. But it keeps. You know what? Feet have always been a thing for me. Also, isn't it sick just to have like a, a Buddha's foot on your bed? I'm sitting on my um, Buddha's foot. We are currently at this place. It's right next to the Buddha and I have no idea what it is, but our ticket included it, so we're gonna go in. Also, this is happening because Lou has bad back. I don't know where we are, but we have snazzy footwear. What is this place? I don't know. Like, I don't know where we are. I don't know what's going on. What's happening? The screen just lifted up. And now, what? Is this part of the show? Well, that was a wild experience we just had. It was basically like an RS lesson come to life. Strange. Anyway, we're leaving now. <laughs> Can I go get dinner? We don't even know where we're going to eat. We have just arrived. Where are we? I don't know. We're at a metro station. Tourist I'm embarrassed. Station. Everyone's looking at my pillow. And teenage boys were laughing at me.
like a nightmare. But we decided to get our favourite drinks first. I have a bubble tea. And your foot. It's hiding my foot because I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat. This is a pepperoni stuffed crust. And we got two complimentary cokes because it was a bit late and also I had an incident asking for the toilet. Anyway, these are always finished. We and literally don't need these drinks. The one time we don't need a drink. We have <laughs> get so many drinks right now. We're on our way back to the station with our foot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what train stations look like in China. It feels more like an airport. There's Starbucks, KFC down there. And these are the trains. <laughs> what? What's your... What's your... Maybe. Her. Jigger. Train station. That man has a fly spot. Spot and I have a foot. So we just got back. It's half nine. I've been out of the house <laughs> for like 12 hours. We're very tired, but look, we're greeted home by the towers. Hope you enjoyed <laughs> this week's vlog. What a foot. There's people, there's people, there's people, there's people. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ah.